Before we start this video, I'd like to thank Elemental Jedi82 for sending the pictures of this comic. You can find the link to his Twitter page and YouTube channel in the description below, or you can wait to the end of the video to see his YouTube channel on the end cards. This video would have been a lot harder to make possible without your help, so it's very appreciated. Thank you. Hello, this is Krusty here. Today we are looking at our first post t bound Ninjago story, which sets the seeds for Season 15 and touches on the damage caused by the Malopian Assault and flooding of Ninjago City. So without further ado, let's start straight from the beginning as Lloyd informs Masako and Wu of how restoration efforts over in Ninjago City have been going. Everything seems to be going smoothly enough. This is until the ninja get a distress call saying that a sea monster that was caught up in the flood is now causing chaos in the sewers. The police in the city have already started engaging the monster but don't really stand much of a chance which prompts the ninja to jump in and help them. The ninja make pretty fast work of freeing the police commissioner from the leviathan's tentacles and then they decide they're going down the sewers after it. The ninja explore the sewers for a bit only to discover that the leviathan they're chasing is actually a baby. A pretty big baby that's causing a public disruption, but a baby nonetheless. The ninja conclude that young or not, the leviathan can't go around causing terror in the city and decide to fight it off. However, this doesn't go to plan in the slightest and it has no effect on the leviathan. With his first plan having went south, Lloyd tells Jay to just do the lightning thing he did to free the commissioner again, which also doesn't go well at all. Lloyd then laments how much easier this mission would have been if Nia had still been around. Lloyd then suggests another idea for dealing with the situation, but it gets shot down pretty much immediately because it kind of sucks. The ninja realize that the leviathan isn't here by choice and is stuck in the sewers, so they decide to make use of fire and ice to create a water stream to flush it and the ninja out of the sewers. This refined version of Lloyd's original flushing idea actually works very well, and as long as there's no additional complications, it should be okay. And additional complications come in the form of the only way out of the sewers being a straight hole upward. This wouldn't be a problem if Nier was still around to just raise up the water level so they could swim out. But Kai and Zane's method of producing water isn't nearly efficient as that and will either A get them cooked or B get them frozen. Just when all hope seems lost, the leviathan that Zane saved in season 2 shows up and we find out that the baby leviathan in this comic is actually its kid. The leviathan pulls its child and the ninja out of the hole and puts the ninja on dry land. The ninja say goodbye and then it leaves with its child. The ninja decide that rather than walking all the way through that hole back to the city, that they'll check Dr. Julian's old lighthouse and see if there's a radio they can call Pixel for a lift with. But before the end of the comic, Lloyd hangs back from the rest of the team and wonders if he's still fit to lead them after all that's happened. And that was the first part of our first post Seabound Ninjago story, Tentacles Below. I really enjoyed this little comic, seeing how Ninjago City's been coping after Wojira's flooding of it was very nice. And going off of what very little we've seen of Ninjago's new season, this comic seems to be setting up where the ninja are in this clip very well too. Also, seeing that Season 2's Leviathan is not only doing well, but had a child makes me happy. What do you think about this comic though? Let me know in the comments below. Like and share if you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. And be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when more like it come out. That's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.